Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Maria Lourdes Escobar, your host for this edition of Doc on Duty. Alam nating lahat ngayon, halos lahat ng workplaces natin ay may mga computers na. Siyempre, nakakagaan ito sa ating mga trabaho. But there's a downside to this pag palagi natin siyang ginagamit. Kagaya na lang nitong concern ng ating letter sender na nagnangalang Mr. Nicolo Joshua Lopez. Good AM po, Doc. Lagi po akong babad sa computer dahil sa work ko. Madalas pong pagod at nagluluha ang mga mata ko. Minsan din po ay sumasakit din ang ulo ko. Kailangan ko na po bang magsalamin? Okay, Nicolo. Meron tayong expert mula sa De Los Santos Medical Center na sasagot sa concern mo. At nagkataon pa, nakapangalan mo siya. And his name is Dr. Nicolo Zandro Valencia. And he's more than qualified to answer your problem. Tanungin nga natin siya, Doc, anong masasabi mo dito sa concern ni Nicolo? This condition is actually called the uh, digital eye strain. Um, it's actually caused by prolonged use of gadgets such as iPads, computers, cell phones. To be specific, actually the main cause of the strain is the prolonged eye um, opening. Kailangan kasi natin um, the blinking. When we blink, uh, it actually uh, replenishes the, um, the tears in the eye. So yung luha na yon is actually we need a luha for clear vision and for comfort in reading. Um, so whenever we use the, the iPads, um, um, the iPhones, the cell phones, the computers, so we tend not to blink as often. So actually, when we use uh, these contraptions, we blink um, half as much as we have to. Um, that's why kapag hindi tayo nagbiblink, we excessively or prolonged um, yung eye opening natin. So that's when the symptoms um, happen, the dry eyes. Um, some patients will even have um, blurring of vision, eye pain, foreign body sensation. So actually, in young patients, um, the children, um, yung mga bata, um, whenever they do near work, um, when we do yun nga, iPads, computers, um, not only for the digital eye strain, but also for the um, increased risk of developing uh, nearsightedness as well. So that's why we don't really advocate too much um, or excessive uh, use of uh, contraptions or gadgets in the young patients. Um, the signs and symptoms of digital eye strain um, can uh, be mild, can be just a foreign body sensation, mild blurring of vision, but in severe cases, you can have a severe loss of vision, severe eye pain, headaches, neck, neck pains, and uh, the like. Actually, um, as ophthalmologists, we advocate um, to limit the use of contraptions to at least or at most uh, two hours a day, one to two hours a day. Or of course, when we have may mga trabaho tayo that needs extensive uh, computer exposure, we tell the patients to take a break for a few seconds every 15 minutes. Or in some countries, they advocate the 20-20-20 rule. Every 20 minutes, for 20 seconds, you look at a distance, um, at a, something in uh, sa malayo, uh, at least 20 feet, to relax your eye from the near work. We also uh, tell our patients to blink uh, more consciously. So especially for the um, dun sa mga patients that work uh, mga call centers, uh, computer work, actually blinking consciously will uh, help replenish the tears already. But in uh, worst cases, we can prescribe uh, lubricant eye drops to prevent the digital eye strain. Hi, Nicolo. I'm inviting you and everyone else to come see us here in uh, Del Santos Medical Center. Uh, we are, have our very own eye center equipped with uh, state-of-the-art uh, facilities to um, to cater to your ophthalmologic needs. Thank you very much, Dr. Valencia, for answering the concern of Nicolo. At sana makatulong ang mga suggestions ni Dr. Valencia sa iyo, Nicolo, tungkol sa problema mo sa iyong mga mata at syempre sa pagsakit ng iyong ulo. And for all our televiewers out there who are watching our show, if you have any concern that you want to be addressed or resolved, just send us a message through our Facebook page, Rx+. Plus. This has been Dr. Maria Lourdes Escobar, your host for Doc on Duty for today.